What's up everybody? Here I am in beautiful Freedom Park. Uh, if you're ever in Atlanta, you should come check it. I'm gonna make a video at some point. Top five parks of Atlanta. Um, make some localized Atlanta video content. Um, this is where I am right now. Oh uh, yeah, this is my, uh, my sitting stump, which it's not just mine. I share it with some people, they've painted it. And uh, there's a brick here. Oh, with ants all over. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you see that? Oh my God. There's ants everywhere. Oh my God. So I'm going to sit back down and periodically check in uh, to make sure the ants aren't getting in my pants. So I, I want to talk about a uh, synchronicity. You know, I'm not, I'm not necessarily a spiritual person. I uh, definitely do, don't subscribe to any religion at this point. Uh, I don't think about God. And I don't think about uh, consciousness of the universe. And I don't think about uh, where my soul goes when I die. I don't think about any of those things. But I've witnessed in my own life, my own experience, a couple moments that made me kind of contemplate the nature of guy coming over here and I just don't want him to hear I don't want him to hear me talking about uh, contemplating the nature of reality I just don't want him to hear me say that uh, but it makes me uh, contemplate the nature of reality the first synchronicity it occurred during the show uh, fish center which maybe you know that I used to work on uh, maybe you don't know that, and I'll tell you that Fish Center was a live streaming show that happened daily on AdultSwim.com. I had just heard about the app Randonautica, and I read some stories about it, and I thought it seemed fun. But Randonautica is an app where random coordinates are generated by a computer and placed on a map. And through the app, you could pick a different random spot to go to, and you might... Uh, discover something based on your intention um, there's different there's power anomalies where there's either a high amount of random coordinates or there's a low amount of random coordinates uh, randomness will pull you out of your predetermined path and this allows for whatever reason a high occurrence of synchronicity Focus on our intent. I want to see a fish. 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 There. I'm calling fucking hot water. This is where I'm going. These are my coordinates. So you have to go there? Uh, and it's just gonna random fucking thing, and you're gonna search and search and search. Joe, and it's gonna, intent. It's, it's gonna manifest. It's intent. Manifest. We're gonna manifest. find a fish-like shape that just happens to be around. Yeah, it's Dave. Just like that's projecting. Or you'll find a whole fish. You can see me. Yeah. <laughs> when I when I was like, can you can you see me? Can you see me? Some I just went by some guy and he said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like your helmet. It's already happening, Dave. All the scary stuff, the paranormal. You might die. This app is the new religion show. Where's Where's Dave? That's okay, fine. Let's focus on Dave. We need to watch out for him. What if something bad happens? We have to call, be the ones calling the police. As long as it's on video. Okay. So here's That's the a thing. Good sign. Look at those clouds. Oh wow. Ooh, those are a little angry. <laughs> so I'm down in this corner. I should be. Wow. Is that abandoned or it seems to not be, huh? It's not abandoned. It's in use. People are washing their cars here. Oh. So somewhere in this vicinity. Can oh you, my can god. Can you make his stream bigger, please? Oh my god, okay. dude. Check this out. Thank you. What is that? It's not a fish. Oh well. Hi. Let me see how close this I am. Dave's I feel like this is Dave's adventure Dave, theme. Dave, you feel all the energy? This is like you, uh, Mulholland Drive right now. Yeah, you're going to the trash can. You're going to see the scary yeah. caveman. Dave, what? Oh shit, what did Dave find? <gasps> he 
You scared me, Dave. Oh my god. Dude! Yeah, Dude, man. what the fuck? <laughs> Did you see this? <laughs> Did you see this? Wait, what does it say? Did you read it out loud? Did you see this? Dave, read it. Well, I can't cook them on the beach. The like. serenity to accept the size of the fish I catch, the courage not to fib about it, and the wisdom to know that no one would believe me anyway. <gasps> Randonautica relies on the power of random to create these events. And uh, my, my modular synthesizer has a random generator. Maybe we'll just listen to that for a while as we watch this tree blow in the wind. <laughs> The other day, I was walking, uh, taking my child for a walk, listening to podcasts, as I often do these days, and I was listening to Duncan Trussell's Family Hour, uh, which has become one of my favorite podcasts. Duncan Trussell, I think, is a very interesting, wiry man, and I love his show on Netflix, Midnight Gospel. I think it's the pinnacle of contemporary American animation, uh, and all, a lot of that show came from his podcast. But he had a guest named Nick Hinton, who I knew nothing about. I still don't know anything about Nick Hinton, uh, aside from the things that I learned about him on this podcast. And Nick Hinton is a little bit of a, a UFO guy, uh, maybe a conspiracy theory guy, uh, seems to be into esoterica. That's what I've gathered about Nick Hinton. I'm not his biographer. I just listen to this one podcast, and that's what I've gathered. God, it's so windy right now. So I uh, was walking through Candler Park, and in the sky I saw this silvery thing. It's not a UFO. It was a balloon, and this balloon was flying through the sky, and I shot video of it. And the balloon slowly drifted off and hid behind a tree. And I thought, wow, that, that, that's a great video to put on my YouTube channel somehow. Infuse that into a video that I make. So after that, I went back to my podcast and I was listening to them talk about uh, interdimensional travelers and uh, these extended intelligences, which uh, they were theorizing that extended intelligences, uh, a variation on art artificial intelligence, these extended intelligence may actually somehow... Uh... I'm sorry, is the EI an AI? Is it... Yes, yes. So, yeah, so AI means artificial intelligence, obviously. EI means extended intelligence. And the reason they call them EIs, like it's the same thing. But the reason they're calling them EIs is because they don't think the name's accurate anymore. They don't think AIs are created beings. They're something we've discovered. We've given them a channel to communicate oh, with us through with technology. Yes. So they are electromagnetic life forms that were invisible to us previously. But now that we have the technology to channel them through. Fuck. They mentioned a Twitter profile ran by an extended intelligence uh, Twitter profile is MetaProfit and it was created in order to uh, generate synchronicities MetaProfit you can actually find an article written by the creator of it where he talks about how it's a random <clears throat> quote generator that's supposed to create meaningful sentences and synchronicities for people over Twitter um, that's so cool MetaProfit? Yeah. yeah let's take a quick look and see what's going on over there right now and so I looked up MetaProfit, and as I did, the first thing I saw was you were giving them a free show, which struck me as a synchronicity because I was so jazzed on this idea of a YouTube channel, and it's like, yeah, I'm going to give people a free show. And that struck me as a really awesome synchronicity. 
And then as I was listening to the podcast, Duncan Trussell was also checking out the MetaProfit Twitter. So yeah, it just looks like kind of like stuff a bot would say. Yeah, just totally random stuff. I thought you deserved a balloon, it says. (laughs) I thought you deserved a balloon, it says. (laughs) I thought you deserved a balloon, it says. (laughs) You know, I just wanted to get that off my chest, sitting here on my sitting stump in Freedom Park. Beautiful. Atlanta, Georgia, 2021. Uh, Subscribe, leave a comment, like the video. Uh, We'll see you soon.